For 2019, Benelli came out with a totally new motorbike, uh, the Imperial 400, which is looking like an old or retro-styled bike, but technically it's a new thing. Uh, and uh, when we got the bike for the test ride, the world premiere of it didn't even happen, so the technical parameters of it are not absolutely known in all uh, details. But uh, during the test ride we got enough impressions to speak about it uh, enough for you and show what kind of motorbike this is. It was not a secret at all that the main arrival of the new Imperial 400 is the Royal Enfield 350 and uh, just uh, on the same way the main uh, target market of this motorbike is not the European but the Indian market which is the largest in the whole world. So uh, if Benelli uh, can make a strong step into that market with this model then it is sure that it's going to be a big big and very important step for the whole uh, company's future. Uh, so as the bike uh, can make all the Euro 4 uh, emission standards, uh, luckily it came to the European market as well, that's why we can show it to you. When a modern motorbike is playing in this retro style league, then all the uh, parts are very very important, everything has to be perfect for the side of the looking uh, as the bike should really look like an old one. Let's check out uh, how the new I Imperial 400 is uh, working from this point. Spoken wheels in the front and in the rear as well, looking absolutely great. We do not have any upside down telescopic forks because they are not necessary and wouldn't even look like uh, well uh, on this motorbike. The dashboard itself is very beautiful. Uh, looking absolutely classical with these two round uh, and uh, analog uh, dashes, but it's also modern because we have a small LCD panel uh, under the speedometer. It has only two daily counters, nothing special, but in the middle we have a gear indicator and a detailed uh, fuel gauge as well, so it's absolutely looking uh, great. And all the other details are really nice, for example, although the switchers are looking modern, but uh, the uh, handlebar itself with the Benelli sign is looking really great. The mirror, for example, is nice and covered with chrome, uh, just as the handlebar itself. The fuel tank is a very nice and long pulled uh, classical form, and this uh, small panel to have a good knee contact is uh, looking also extremely good. Although, for example, for a guy with a long leg like me, uh, it's not really working because my knees are somewhere here. But anyhow, uh, I didn't have any uh, problem with this part. The engine itself is a 400 cubic centimeter, uh, exactly 370 cubic centimeter, one cylinder, absolutely air-cooled uh, engine, not too strong, we will speak about, on, about it later. And the exhaust, pa exhaust system is also looking absolutely great, very, very long uh, final part of it. Uh, the end of it is also looking perfect and the sound of it is also very nice. Not loud at all, but it's a really nice sound. And the suspension in the rear part is also uh, absolutely made for the design. Uh, we have two uh, separate units on the two sides. With this uh, gas tank is uh, only a decoration because it doesn't have any kind of function, but looking great. And uh, finally, all the lights and uh, lamps and everything is, is absolutely nicely uh, in this picture. and. Uh, top part I think is the uh, rider seat which has springs under it and this is really working so really the whole bike all in all and all the spare parts of it are looking absolutely nice in its uh, class so the engine is a single cylinder and totally air-cooled unit uh, the overall cubic capacity is uh, 373 cubic centimeters and uh, it has a very very long uh, bore and it's really working absolutely uh, let's say uh, without any nervousness. Uh, the maximum power output is uh, 20 brake horsepower only so it's uh, somewhere around the normal 250 cubic centimeter uh, engines level. 
and uh, the RPM is pretty low where it is coming it's uh, 5500 and the maximum torque is 29 Newton meter which is already coming at 3500 and but is also really uh, important that the maximum RPM is somewhere around 7000 so you did you really don't have to uh, use the engine on high RPMs it doesn't like it and it's not even necessary because the torque is really coming from uh, down although uh, the the whole uh, power and torque of it is not enough for riding fast with the Imperiale but this style of motorbike doesn't even need riding fast all in all uh, although it can ride uh, faster than the Hungarian highway speed maximum 130 km per hour so it's possible to reach a little bit more with it but uh, as what the engine is liking is, uh, is approximately the 80 to 100 and uh, mostly the 80 to 90 km per hour speed category. The rider's seat is uh, not only equipped with these uh, springs under it but uh, it's pretty wide and pretty big the uh, area of it so it, uh, it's, it's really a comfortable seat position that we have and not only the seat itself but the whole position is absolutely good uh, the leg position is uh, more, more, much more close to the comfortable than to the sporty uh, and it, it, we really have a very good uh, knee contact with the motorbike so it's really easy to maneuver it and uh, it's easy to use the rear brake and everything else so it's really a good good uh, position the upper body position is also pretty nice uh, you are not uh, sitting with the two uh, back position the upper body so you are normally sitting with a little bit bent on the wind uh, so normally even when riding the 120 130 kilometers per hour speed range uh, you are not fighting with the elements it's a totally natural uh, position that you have and it's also good when you are ride riding on uh, curvy roads the suspension itself it's uh, designed for much closer to a soft uh, suspension than a sporty one we do not know exactly the parameters of it uh, in the front uh, the two telescopic force doesn't seem too thick but not even too thin and uh, they are working pretty comfortable and pretty soft uh, in the rear section uh, in the rear section the two sides uh, are also pretty soft and all in all it's so only the very very big uh, road mistakes are uh, hitting your back uh, the big holes the big bumps and things like this those are not comfortable but uh, all the everyday let's say uh, average uh, critical uh, road mistakes are absolutely variable uh, on this motorbike and uh, what is also interesting that with this relatively soft uh, suspension when you are riding on curvy roads with these narrow tires because the Imperial 400 in the front has a 19 and the, in the rear an 18 uh, inch rim and the uh, tires are 100 and 130 millimeters wide and uh, all in all uh, it's really easy to ride it on uh, on curvy roads so it's really a joy uh, when you are riding in curves as the new Imperiale 400 is a motorbike of the 21st century, of course, the brake system has to be a modern thing. So we have disc brakes in the front and in the rear as well. Uh, in the front also only a single disc. Uh, the sizes and the parameters we don't really know. Uh, but what we can see is that uh, we have a two-piston caliper in the rear, only a one-piston caliper. And ABS is uh, coming as standard in the front and in the rear as well. All in all, we can say that the whole uh, brake system of the motorbike is absolutely sufficient for these uh, speed categories where we can ride with it. Uh, for example, when I made emergency braking from uh, really the top speed of the bike, so uh, uh, over 130 km per hour, then at the end of the braking, the front telescopic forks reached their, their maximum work and uh, had some uh, knocking uh, uh, from them so uh, the brakes uh, efficiency doesn't have any kind of problem and even the dosability of it is pretty good and doesn't need that huge uh, hand power that uh, some uh, motor bikes uh, from this brand uh, had earlier Benelli Imperiale 400 is a really very nicely designed motorbike all the smallest part even the smallest parts of it are really designed with uh, big care 
and uh, the whole bike all in all and all the parts where you are you, are, you just can watch are looking great everywhere uh, it's not a fast motorbike uh, not a really sporty motorbike but looking very great it's it's very good feeling simply when you are just uh, drinking coffee and meanwhile watching your bike with which you went to the coffee house and uh, and it's very nice feeling to ride it uh, and but it's also a very important part of it that uh, it's not expensive at all uh, i can I, so we know here only the hungarian price but but this is in the level of the 250 cubic centimeter uh, let's say uh, more or less commerce motorbikes and uh, it gives much more from the point of the looking so all in all it's a great thing if you liked our review please push a thumb up in the description under the review you can find the uh, link where you can uh, donate our work if you do it then we send all of our films much much before their publicity directly to you by email if you haven't done it yet please subscribe for our channel and watch our previous works as well thanks a lot for your kind attention